Call of Duty 4 is my all-time favorite shooter. I also enjoyed Modern Warfare 2 a lot. Well, as long as the server banned NoobTube and Commando. So naturally, I got very excited to hear that the newly renamed Respawn Entertainment started working on a new IP. Years later, it's finally here, the Titanfall beta started, and it's been consuming my life. I guess you could call this a review, though I doubt I am qualified enough to do something like that. I just kind of want to tell you about the game. The movement system of the game feels tight. It's like playing super-powered Call of Duty soldiers. And that's not a bad thing. You spawn in, it takes you one match to get used to double jump, wall run and all those shenanigans and then you're good to go. It is intuitive and unbelievably captivating. Personally, I found myself just running around the map for a good 15 minutes before I even started shooting anything. And oh my god, is the shooting fun. The weapons outside of the smart pistol, which is something we are gonna talk about later, aren't really special. A shotgun, an assault rifle, SMG sniper, you know him. All of them play just like we are used to from Call of Duty, with low recoil and high damage. But it is actually quite necessary for the weapons to be like this. Players jump and run a lot. Everybody is in constant movement and you are gonna be shooting a lot and hitting only rarely. But that makes those few hits you get in all the more satisfying. In general, you don't get a lot of kills in this game. Even my best games ended with me having a score of 15 to 3 at best. Usually, a round of Titanfall only sees about 30 kills happen. Unless you count shooting bots. Bots are dumb. Like useless dumb. There are a lot of them and they don't get anything done. They are cannon fodder for cannons that don't even need to shoot to kill them. The fact that there are two types of bots doesn't really help the case either. Yeah, it's cute that I can hack Spectres and make them part of my team, but they still don't matter. The only game mode where the bots make a difference is Team Deathmatch, aka Attrition. And that's only because killing them helps you get the required score for a win. <laughs> Their purpose is to make the battle feel larger than reality, and to a certain degree they actually do so. But they end up being nothing more than a way to get an earlier titan. One of the most effective attrition strategies I found was to rush to the hallway that all opposing minions use to get to the battlefield. All that was left to do was to get the rifle out and hose them down, giving us a head start of 10 points and speeding up my titan by a lot. In any of the other game modes, the bots are really nothing more than scenery. Capping flags is not a thing they will be able to do, and they also don't stand a chance in a Titan vs Titan showdown. Talking about Titans. Titans are fun. Titans are strong. Titans tank a lot. Titans are giant targets. Titans are all we envision them to be. I like Titans, but the progress of getting one is very peculiar. Everybody starts with a Titan cooldown, and if you score any sort of points, that cooldown decreases. As a result, good players will get their Titan a bit earlier than bad players, but in the end, everybody kinda gets them around the same time. And that's when the first escalation of the game happens. Everybody summons in their Titan and their objective turns into taking down the opposing ones first. Both pilots and Titans got multiple ways of taking down opposing Titans, but much in the same way, Titans got multiple ways of defending themselves. And though general rules of thumb seem to be two titans beat one titan every time. A titan in an open field is a dead titan. And once all titans died, everybody's going back to titan farming until escalation phase 2 happens. Outside of the new mechanics, it's not really that different. The character customization is nothing special. You get a primary, a secondary and an anti-titan weapon. Then you get to pick a grenade, an ability and two perks. Weapons also have the usual play more and it gets stronger bullshit. I was really hoping we were finally moving away from that. Customization for Titans is just about the same, but that is probably going to be different in the finished product. The main problem I see with customization right now is that there really isn't any. You pick your weapon and that's it. Outside of that, there are clear-cut stronger perks and abilities. 
Yes, the cinematic shield is fun, but the smoke is just straight up better. Nuclear ejection is pretty required to be useful, and if you don't take the minion detector, you're just a fool. But this may yet again be fixed in the finished game. One last thing though, burn cards. These are collectibles you earn through playing. It is possible to have up to three equipped and every time you die, you may use one of them. Once used, they disappear and you need to wait until your next game to equip new ones. You earn these rapidly. I never ran into the problem of not having a card to replenish my inventory. However, I still think that these are not good for the health of the game. The problem is that these are earned at random. I once, and only once, got a card that allowed me to call in a titan. Right away, at the start of the game. I literally started an attrition game with a titan. <laughs> that game didn't take very long. These burn cards can be unbelievably frustrating. You might be shooting better than me, but my weapon got boosted to deal more damage and so I won our encounter. They replace, well he killed me, with fucking asshole had his weapon boosted. And while we are on the topic of lame weapons, the smart pistol is not an amazingly powerful weapon. It's not. I personally fear someone with any of the other weapons more than someone with a smart pistol. But it's still unhealthy to have a mechanic that is basically aimbot in this game. Getting killed by this is less fun than getting killed by another weapon. It feels unfair. It feels like you could and should have won that gunfight if only the other guy was using an actual weapon. This may not always be true, but the heart doesn't lie. It's a frustrating mechanic to go up against. I'm just hoping the smart pistol stays the only weapon with this mechanic. Otherwise the game might get really frustrating really soon. But in the end, none of this even matters. Titan 4 is not perfect, but it's one hell of a good time. Jumping from rooftop to rooftop and getting a mid-air kill with your shotgun is something no other game can provide you with. Titan vs Titan fistfights are absolutely hilarious. Calling in a giant mech to drop on a fool is a feeling that no other game will give you. And seeing someone snipe from the other side of the map just to then wall jump and wall run through explosions and armies clashing with each other just to get to his roof and then jump kick him is a feeling no other game will give you. Titanfall is a masterpiece that's just war fun. By no stretch of the imagination is it perfect, but if I had to give it a rating of 1 to 10, it would be best shooter since Call of Duty 4 out of Call of Duty 4. This game is a definite purchase for me and I'm excited to see the finished game. So yeah, I kinda like Titanfall.